Every anime has a head turner chick. Dragon Ball Bulma, Chainsaw Man Makima, Attack on Titan Mikasa, Naruto Tsunade, and so on. And in One Piece, you can't deny that Boa Hancock, if not the best, then she is one of the best head turner in the anime. Since we are celebrating our 1,000 subscriber milestone, we want the best for you and thank you for supporting me on this. And by the way, big thanks to Omocha Japan Anime Figure for helping us have this amazing Boa Hancock resin statue by Yang Tong Studio. I will link them down below, so check them out. I'm really excited to open this heavy and big, amazing Boa Hancock statue. So guys, if that interests you, stay tuned. <laughs> when opening these kinds of uh, resin statues, removing the actual statue from the art box is really, really hard. It's a, it's a struggle already. Yo, I'm just trying to catch my breath here, guys. I just want to show us when this is how it looks. Uh, I don't know. Oh, there you go. That's how the packaging looks right now. So it's a one full, it's a one full flat lay of all of the items on this one. So let's start building it now. Just like what we always do, we start with the base, right? But the base here is really heavy. It feels like it's already a, a statue on its own. It's really heavy. It's solid. So that's a good start. By the way, just to let you know, again, I don't have a manual on this. The statue doesn't have a manual as well. But we will try to wing things here and see if we can properly assemble it. Yo, so finally we did it. Uh, this is the Tiang Tong Studio Boa Hancock. And I have here the certificate or the, I don't know how to call it. But it says here it's number 277 out of 310 in the international release. So yeah, this is a very limited edition one. The problem is there's no manual. So I really have to wing things on how to build it up. And another thing is, I don't know where to put this extra flower. I can't find where it fits. There's no manual to it. There's a hole in here, but it doesn't fit. So I don't know where to put it. For you to have a better understanding of what I'm talking about here, I'm going to run a montage in three, two, one, let's go. Guys, that's how solid this Tiang Tong Studio Boa Hancock is. If you're a big fan of One Piece and you collect this kind of stuff, resin statues, this is a must for your cabinet. Guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Again, big thanks to our friend Omoja Japan Anime Figure for letting us have this amazing Boa Hancock piece. If you enjoyed this video, please comment down below if you have any suggestions. That's it for me on this video, guys. Thank you for watching. Again, Mad Corner here. This is the Boa Hancock from Tiang Tong Studio. I hope you enjoyed it. Another one. I decided to go to Unbox Green Heels. If you guys don't know what and where is that, I created a video about it. I will link it down below. I met Sir Patrick of Solid Toys. I think he's the owner of Solid Toys, as you can see there. And then we kind of talked a while ago. We had a quick chat a while ago. And then he ended up giving me a super discount on a certain cabinet here that I really wanted to buy.
In short, we purchased a Sang toy here. I've been eyeing this art toy for quite some time. Big shout out to Solid Toys for giving me a real solid deal. So let's go and unbox this one quickly. Okay, I have to admit it guys, uh, from the packaging itself, it looks so premium. Again, thanks to Solid Toys for giving me a great deal on this one. Super solid. So let's open it. Ta-da! We have here the card of authenticity. It's already signed. And it says here, oh, this is a numbered one. It's 393 out of 499. It also has a QR code. Let's not delay this anymore and open it. Ta-da! Okay, so here is the body of our Sank. This is the head. Of course, look at the head, man. It looks so premium. And of course, since it's an astronaut, we have a backpack here. I don't know how to call it. A jetpack? I don't know. And of course, what makes it so iconic is because of this single feather that we have to put. So let's start building this with the body first. Here you go. Yes, as you can see, it's like a jelly thing. I don't know how to call it, but it looks like it's almost transparent for you to see what's behind it. And by the way, of course, we have to put this. It has a magnet behind it, right? So if you put it there, it sticks with the magnet. And then it says here, sank. I really like the color of this one. That's why I picked it. And then you have to put the head. It's just as easy as one, two, three, right? And of course, the iconic single feather goes there. There you go, guys. Easy as one, two, three. We have here the Sank. I don't know what's the name behind it, but it says in the box, Sank the Child. All right, so it looks like an astronaut. I don't know if it's an astronaut, to be honest. This one really captured my attention because of the color of the body. As you can see here, it's not really transparent, but you can see what's behind it. That's why I picked this one. Plus, again, <laughs> Sir Patrick, thank you so much for giving me a good deal, a solid deal from Solid Toys on this one. If you are interested in collecting uh, art toys or designer toys, go check them out on their social media accounts. Solid Toys, you will never miss them out by checking on Instagram or Facebook. You can definitely see them. That's it for this episode, guys. Thank you for watching. We did unbox two figures. Technically, we provided two content for this episode. But before we end this, don't forget to subscribe on the channel. And I hope to see you again on our next episode. Peace!